Hello YouTube, I'm back again with another video. Um, I'm going to be going back to my Kastra build, but like, I, like I've like i been pre previously playing with a mix of Red Eyes Dark Dragoon and Destiny um, Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. For sure, Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, but my opponent is playing Trap Trick, so I'm going first. If you were to see this duel, um, if you were to watch this duel, you can't imagine how incredible the plays are that I made and what you're about to witness. Sure, uh, Kastra isn't greatness at all because it breaks the meta and that's something that a lot of people are net decking. But in this build, I'm not even playing the field spell, so because I want to test out real, real actual builds that I've made in real life and see how they um, work out and how they uh, progress in the actual simulator. Even though in, in this duel, it doesn't really help to determine whether it'll win me f uh, future matches or help me in, in my actual duels. But at the same time, it kind of gives you an idea and how the deck uh, pretty much initiates. So I try to make these initial builds where I want to see if they're even fun or not, as well as viable. As you're about to see right now, I'm about to go into Branded Fusion, which locks me out from the extra deck besides Fusion Summoning. I'm going to use the Balion's Effect to discard one card, and shuffle um, Fusion Material Monsters from my grave, hand, or field. Be in your, and you're about to, see, as you're about to see now, I'm about to Fusion Summon Dragoon. So I'm just going to set up my uh, Disruptions as well as Kastra Birth, allowing me to summon Ogre, and then Ogre allows me to retrieve a trap from my deck, which will be very handy throughout the uh, entire duel, allowing me to special summon every single turn, as long as I have a Kastra Monster in my hand or Banish Zone. So maybe in real life it may not be viable, but you want to also be able to check the consistency if it's even capable of having synergy with each other, the cards, even if you just randomly put a bunch of cards, you just, yeah, you can't just put a bunch of random cards, you gotta put a bunch of staples, as, uh, as long as they actually have some sort of, like, synergy and they don't conflict too often, then yes, the cards have, are capable of being utilized in the deck, so. So he's about to play evenly on me, so I'm going to chain the gate with Dragoon, discarding Dark Guru no more. And now I bump up my Dragoon to 4k after I negated and destroyed the card. So I'm waiting on my opponent, it's still his turn. And yes, he can negate, so he didn't realize it, but unless he had Dark Ruler no more, which he doesn't, or for Bin Drop, like, yes, then he could be able to even in my field. That would have really hurt me for sure, so. But again, we're waiting on my opponent. That evenly would have made a huge difference had I not summoned Dragoon. So he's gonna normal summon Pudika. Either way, I was very lucky though that I have Dragoon, so. We're waiting on what he's about to do. But uh, I'm gonna chain with these two effects using oh, chain link to a uh, unicorn, chain link the ogre, as you're about to see how their effects work. So let's go with ogre because he's the last chain link to resolve. So I'm gonna banish his, uh, yeah, Adipus is the one that's from his action. Uh, yeah, apparently, I, no, I can choose the card, but I can't tar at the time I can target. Uh, even though I have the, even though my mouse does work. There are times where the game can glitch. Considering, yeah, there, there are some bugs that need to be fixed. So, I decide, you know, I'm going to choose... Uh, I'm trying to figure what I even chose. Yeah, his Adipus. Which, which is correct. Because it can power up his monsters and they can be able to... Like, basically, uh, pummel my fields, just in case, so... So I want to make sure that he doesn't have any monsters that can pretty much overrun any of my any of my cards. So I wasn't sure that if, if he has any strong monsters, or if he has monsters that gain a lot of attack, that can utilize traps as well, or have 
pretty much utilize consistency or break my boards, then that's the card I want to get rid of with Unicorn's Effect or any other card that hits the extra deck. So, besides that, we're, we're going back to, uh, we're going back to, like, uh, the effect of um, Ogre. Because he kind of got mixed up here, so I let him know what I'm about to banish face down. And they go back in the same order thanks to Ogre's effect, so. Because we were just going back into um, making sure there isn't a replicable game state. Sorry about the noise in the background, that's just the ringtone. Let's fast forward here. So he adds Trap Tricks Garden, which is fine by me, so. I tell him, yes, you are good to go. He's going to link summon for Sarah. And then get an additional Norma summon. For Mermilio. With Mermilio, he can actually search for a trap tricks. Uh, I mean, a, a, a whole normal trap card. My mistake. No. To be fair, they do uh, ref. They do, trap tricks do reference uh, trap holes, so they do have a connection. So I just consider trap tricks because usually names are important these days. So. When I, when I hear a hole, I always think of trap holes, so, or trap tricks. Um, you don't think just randomly a hole card, like you think a trap hole card, so. Besides that, in response, I'm going to chain with preparations. After activates Holuera from his hand, which he discarded a normal trap from his hand. And in response, I'm allowed to banish one uh, card from his hand. Uh, it's, and it's not random, face down, banish one card from his hand face down for free. So in pretty much this card itself is very useful when going first, even going second, because you get to summon a Kashiro monster. On top of that, if they activate a trap card, you can look at the hand, banish card, one card from there and face down, as you see what's about like what I'm about to do right now. So as what's about to happen, one of the cards I choose gets banished face down. And either way, he's still gonna summon his whole Tia or whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a it's a first for me, so. And then he's going to use Sarah's effect. I think it's because he activated a normal trap this turn. He can special summon one trap tricks monster from his deck with a different name than the cards he controls, which makes sense. So to make the card less busted. Because it just seems like an effect. Sure, it may be a hard one's percentage, but it just seems too easy to activate with no cost. And although it does require a normal trap to activate, he's still getting a free summon after after getting rid of one of my cards, so. And it's the fact, I'm, and I'm, it's possibly the fact maybe because she's a Link 1, so she's, you always get to summon her as long as you have a Trap Tricks monster, so. She's going to be there every single uh, turn, so. So he's going to go back to his Puriga, uh, Puriga or, so he's going to activate the effect when it's special summon, target one special summon monster opponent controls, banish it, also during the next standby phase, your opponent can special one of their banished monsters. Not like it, not again, it doesn't really hurt my field too much because um, I can just retrieve it with preparations, I can just constantly summon them. So, even if he were to banish one, he, if anything, he should try banishing Lubelion because there's no way, even though, even though I'll retrieve it back during the next standby phase, um. I still wouldn't be able to just basically automatically revive it to my field whenever I need to, so. But either way, it's his call, so. Either way, and, and I predict uh, I'm going to draw to Fusion Destiny, so. But so yeah, him banishing my unicorn doesn't itch my skin at whatsoever, so doesn't bother me at all so because I feel in a way it, it was a misplay because he could have banned something that I can't retrieve with one of my cards so which I can with me maybe he didn't read preparations or maybe he thought maybe unicorn was too much of a threat so all right so he's gonna use summon arachna arachna campa I hope I'm pronouncing that right like it matters as long as you read the, the, the letters so so when he's going to for another Xe summon for Pinguicula, 
So all he can do now is summon his monsters in defense mode because my my car my monsters outweigh his monsters. So that's why I try to banish one of his stronger monsters because they can pretty much uh, like overpower my cards. So looking at my field, yeah, I don't blame him summoning monsters in defense because he feels like he's putting himself at a risk even though there's no time rules whatsoever. He's trying to play sure to play carefully, so he still has one trap. So the moment I use preparations, he's gonna use probably use reflection, and I predicted correctly. Yes, I was going to draw a diffusion destiny. All right, on summon, that's fine. Go ahead. You can use reflection's effect. Go ahead, play your bottom strap pole. That's cool. And I'll batch the last card that he has in face now. Which is cool by fine by me so he's gonna use arachno campa to spell summon from his hand i'm guessing because he activated trap card this turn or he because because he controls trap tricks he can spell summon during the main phase as it as uh, considering it is a quick effect as long as he has a Mubdura trap trick monster and this card is a quick effect he can summon it whenever during the main phase so and his back row is protected i'm guessing as long as he controls arachno campa fine by me so he only needs one trap card not too much for me to worry about, that's fine, he'll chain. I'm guessing whether it's to negate or special summon, or uh, yeah, he's gonna special summon a trap trick monster from his graveyard to his field, so. And then he's gonna use Mermelio to target one of my spell trap cards to destroy it. Sure, but now I'm gonna chain with preparations, and it's, and it's destroyed. And I'm gonna add a Custer Scareclaw just in case. Oh, if I want to push my opponent even further, as you can see what's about to happen right now, he's going to floodgate my unicorn, cool, that's fine by me, but then I'm going to use Fenrir's effect to banish one of his uh, monsters, I mean Dragoon actually to pop one of his monsters, he takes 2500, to make sure to, to diminish his life points as quickly as possible, and you're about to see him right now, I'm going to play use Scareclaw Kasher's effect, by banishing Ogre, and then I'm going to summon Ogre using Birth, and I'll possibly go to another Link play for Boros or Dragon, and then I'm going to go play Fusion Destiny, and this is the most likely game as you're about to see now, since he has no response to any modes, he pretty much used up all his resources, used up all his card effects, and it isn't stop this, uh, this isn't, isn't going to stop him uh, from, isn't going to stop me from gaming him whatsoever, so. So I'm just about to put an end to trap tricks as you see right now. So he has nothing that he can respond with to end this OTK, which is pretty much an OTK because I already dealt him 25 thanks to Dragon's uh, card effect. So from here on out, I let him know it is a game, right? Like I build this deck in real life. I want to try some unique builds. Not only, sure, but it, this deck tends to seem like it relates to the meta, it revolves around the meta, but at the same time, I want to try something different where at the same time, not only can the, the deck push for game, but have a chance to actually can be able to compete with the meta, even if it's not, doesn't have a similar build, a similar card choice that I net, that I choose, just because I saw my opponent's build that I should choose, I should net deck. Either way, net decking can help you figure out how to utilize your strategy and help you compete, but at the same time, it makes the game more stale so in this case he admits defeat and overall he didn't have any issue because i'm telling him i'm trying to get my own build and trying to try i'm trying to make something different for a change so that way we can actually try to enjoy the duel a little bit so that people can realize that people are trying different cards to make something interesting of this game and i considering i said too much again Hope you guys enjoy the video. Be sure to check for more upcoming content later in the future. Be sure to check your notifications. Comment, like, subscribe. Thank you.